The most important asset of this farm and any other farm is the soil and it tends to be forgotten about. So it has to be managed like any other enterprise on the farm to maximise the returns from the land. On this farm we have a range of soils but we find ourselves today on a free draining sandy loam soil which after recent heavy rainfall allows us to continue with the harvesting of maize. Our aim is to minimise the damage to the soil by the use of wide tyres on the machinery to spread the weight. Also the crop with its strong root structure will help to keep the soil structure open. The residue of the maize crop, i.e. the stubble, will get incorporated back into the soil in the springtime and this will help to keep the organic matter or humus high in the soil which also will lead with the microbial activity working in the soil. How we manage the soils in this farm, we are uh, midway from the lowest to the highest part of the farm, which is only 50 metres above sea level, and the lowest is actually at sea level. The soil adjacent to the river, which is uh, particularly heavy and can be challenging during the winter months, but also can yield very well during the summer growing season. The operation going on behind us uh, is chisel ploughing the maize stubble, which is opening up the soil surface uh, following the harvesting operations. This uh, will enable the winter rains to permeate into the soil and reduce the opportunity of soil runoff or soil wash otherwise known. This will also assist us in the following spring to start preparing for the next crop of spring beans as the land should be much drier. Here in the southwest of Scotland we receive more than a metre of annual rainfall so by doing this operation, it, it certainly improves uh, uh, the soil structure. A lot of research has been undertaken in this practice and the optimum time for doing this operation is now, straight behind the harvesting team. We aim to promote best practice at all times, mainly to preserve our best asset, which is our topsoil.